Hey, I'm back working out on the Playbook app and I tested a new trainer just last month. This time I tried a bodybuilder. Could I handle it? Well, come check it out. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, then give them my own rating from my own rating system to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money unless they are given to me for free by the manufacturer. And if that's the case, I always let you know at the beginning of the video. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I just got an annual membership to the Playbook app so I could review all of their trainers that they have to offer, or at least almost all of them. Now let's get to training with Zach Perna. Who is he anyways? Well, Zach is a trainer from Melbourne, Australia, and he's in his mid twenties. And I have found him to be extremely knowledgeable for a younger trainer. He's also highly entertaining and motivational at the same time. He's also posted a lot of educational and fun videos on YouTube that teach some good habits mixed with the lighter side of bodybuilding. I have to admit a lot of these videos are probably for the younger set, but they did make me laugh and were highly entertaining. So I suggest to give him a try just so you can kind of see his personality. To give you an example of just how popular Zach is on social media, he's got over 790,000 YouTube subscribers, over 550,000 followers on Instagram, and over 265,000 followers on his Facebook page. He's also got his act together on his personal website as many of his instructions and things that he says are on point and he obviously has a great team behind him supporting him to make everything look extremely professional and well done. Well, let's get to the workout program. I chose Zach's home program and was very impressed from the start. He first has a video that he wants you to watch, which is basically kind of a start here video. Start here. So if you're a little bit confused as to how the app is gonna work or what this whole process is, that is what this video is for. So just quick, quick run through. You guys can choose from uh, either set programs that I've made. So for example, a women's program in the gym for five days. We have a guy's program in the gym for five days. So pretty much you can either choose and follow a program so you don't have to think, just get straight into it. Or we're gonna upload categories of workouts. So we'll have an arm one, a chest one, and you guys can just choose by muscle group and just depending on what you wanna do, you can have that session in there as well. So pretty much guys, I'm gonna make this the best possible training, workout, fitness space for you that I can and I'm genuinely excited to see what we can do and make a sick community. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For his home program, I could either choose to do it three times a week or six times a week. Since this was the first time I was working out with him, I chose to do it three times a week. In his intro video, he did include some neat little nuggets of things that I didn't know. For example, I had a question, why do we need to perform some of these exercises to failure? And I found out the reason why. The reason why is because if you don't have heavy enough weight to make your muscles get fatigued enough, you just have to do multiple, multiple reps basically so your muscles will get fatigued and then you can see that growth later on. None of the other trainers that I watched or worked out with even talked about that and now that that makes sense I get it and I understand why. Another thing that he did which I loved was he did video and audio walkthroughs through almost all of his workouts. Here's an example. Dumbbell side raise. There's a lot of ways of doing this. Experiment with it, see how you feel. One way, keep your hands in front, bend over slightly, and just pull from your elbows. This is one way of doing it. A lot of side delts, especially here. Another way of doing it is to keep your hands by your sides, and I like to keep my shoulders back the whole time and pull from the elbow. So don't think hands, think elbow. Try to keep your arms as straight as you can. Control the way down, pull up, slow down. Again, he was the only trainer so far I've worked out with on the Playbook app who did this. And it was so crucial to my learning on how to do these exercises correctly without getting injured. I can't tell you how much help it was. I'm sure if you're like me and you like to get every single detail before you start something, you'll like Zach. Here's a third reason why I really like Zach from the start. He did walk through audio videos on almost every single exercise, well, I'd say about 50% of them. 
and I DM'd him and said, hey, Zach, I love the videos. Can you do those for every single one of your exercises? Well, I heard back from him within 24 hours, which is the first time any trainer on the Playbook app has done that. How refreshing is that? Every time I saw something I thought he could improve on, I continued to DM him with, you know, here's a thought of mine. This might be good if you did this. This might be good if you did that. And every single time I did that, he responded back to me within 24 hours. Kudos to you, Zach. Great job. I do want you to know what you will need for his home program. You'll need some dumbbells, a workout mat, an incline bench. I didn't have one, so I modified and I'll show you what I did. You'll need a wall or pull-up bar. I didn't have a wall nearby, but I did have a pull-up bar nearby. A workout band and you can use a plyo box or a coffee table to do the Bulgarian split squats. That's it. Here are the three workouts I did every week for four weeks. Workout number one was a push workout. Workout number two was a pull workout. Workout number three was for your legs. Here's my overall thoughts on Zach's home program. I thought I'd kind of do a room for improvement on them. I wish he had a rest timer on the top right corner of his exercise videos so I wouldn't have to tap to get out of the exercise to get to the timer, then tap back in again to get back to the exercises. It's a lot of steps. He also didn't have any ab exercises, which I was quite surprised with because the guy is ripped. He's got definitely a six or eight pack, but I did DM him about that and he is coming out with some ab exercises. Lastly, as I spoke about before, Zach, please do the walkthrough audio video instructions for every exercise. Thank you. So there are no pros and cons this week as I think the room for improvements I had suggested kind of covers all that. Now let's take a look at my own rating system, the three P's, which is comprised of price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What's the price of this product? Is it worth the money? For only a dollar, you can try the app out for a month and probably work out with almost every trainer Playbook has to offer before you decide to go to a monthly or annual membership. Monthly memberships are $14.99 and annual memberships are $99. Where else can you work out with all these great trainers for that price? If you hire them individually, they would probably charge you between $150 to $250 an hour or maybe even more. So for price, I'll give it a nine. Next is performance. Did I get anything out of it? Yes, I did. Great audio and video walkthroughs on many of his exercises. He's a great motivator and knowledgeable about the bodybuilding process. Encouraging trainer who wants to make sure you're getting the most from his routines. Even though I chose the three times a week exercise plan, I felt remarkably stronger by the end of it. So for performance, I'll give it an eight. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done? or am I gonna keep training with Zach? Since I have to move on to review another trainer, I can't continue training with him. But if I didn't have to, I'd definitely try some of his other routines. I hope he creates some more home programs as right now he only offers one. That's the only knock against him. 
Since he's only got one home workout program, I'll give him a seven for staying power. So what's the final tally? Price, nine. Performance, eight. Staying power, seven. That comes to a total final average score of eight. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday, by the way. And I am dabbling in these YouTube shorts, which I'm putting out on random Saturdays to take a look for those. If you have any products that you guys just love and enough of you write those products down in the comment box down below, I might even do a video on them. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.